My name is Shane Ritquist and I'm the managing editor of the Center of Excellence for Biochemistry, Genetics and Molecular Biology. I work with close to 14 in-house editors and more than 150 freelancing editors. I correspond with clients on a day-to-day -day basis and I interact with a bunch of stakeholders every single day to make sure the largest COE in the company runs smoothly. What I love the most about the job is the people, honestly. I mean, that is the main motivation for doing what I do every single day. Uh, it really isn't about, uh, it's about seeing clients satisfied and it's about seeing the people I work with feel motivated uh, about what they do. Uh, I think that's what, that's what drives me every single day. It's complicated because I never envisioned myself to be a leader in the organization. I joined as an associate editor and uh, honestly speaking, that's all I was happy being. I just wanted to be a good editor. That, that's all I wanted to be when I started. And uh, I remember re being really proud when I was, you know, considered one of the stalwarts of my team. I think leadership happened uh, just by accident. Uh, there was a need uh, in, in the team and I stuck my hand up and I said, okay, if, if they need someone uh, to help them. I never saw it as leadership. I saw it as somebody who was going to get in there and help. Uh, and I, and I, I applied for it and it, it happened. If I had to boil it down to like one word, like one phrase, or just one word, I would say it's trust. I mean, that's the currency with which leadership rolls. Uh, it's not just the trust people have in you, but it's the trust that you have in people. Because the more you trust them, the more motivated they feel and the more they want to work towards what they're doing. And uh, I think that's what leadership is. So yeah, like I said, uh, I was close to nine months. So there were two uh, job postings, internal job postings. Uh, one was for the team that I was currently in and the other was for another team, but an allied team basically, one with similar subject areas and things like that. So I applied for the other team because I had grown from being you know, an associate editor to somebody who was a senior member of the team. I didn't really want to be the guy who was going to be you know, their manager. I was, I was more than comfortable not being in the team and moving on to something else. Uh, but uh, I mean my supervisors uh, had different plans. Uh, they thought I was the, the right person to take things forward and uh, believe it or not, I was actually the most apprehensive person uh, at, the, at the time of announcement because I was unsure of, of numerous things, uh, whether the people I work with would uh, believe in what I, what I had planned, uh, whether they would uh, want to listen to what I had to say, uh, whether they would want to work together and uh, it's, it's not that simple and uh, it, was, it was a shock because I was, I was working, uh, I was working with the people, I was supervising the people who had mentored me, who, who had taught me a lot of the things that I knew. So it was a strange experience. And of course, uh, saying that I had an enormous task ahead of me, uh, to manage a big COE was, is, is an understatement. But I think it's been enriching and I've learned a lot along the way. So there were two things that I actually wanted to be when I was growing up. I wanted to be a musician and I wanted to be a footballer. Uh, I think what I've realized from working here is that those dreams don't have to die because uh, I help HR every year organize the football tournament that we, that we host uh, for all the departments in the organization and we have a ball over time uh, getting together with a bunch of people, it's, it's a really cool fun day in the sun and I also get involved with uh, organizing something called the open mic uh, where uh, we ask people to get on stage and uh, sing dance and just showcase their talents. It's been great because I've been able to bring my experiences of pursuing those things here and uh, it's helped me have more fun at work actually.